Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. It is currently pouring outside. Um, I just got home from work a little while ago. Wanted to hop on and just update you guys. My sister keeps texting me like a hundred times. Just wanted to do, um, update you guys on the last video that I put up. I'm trying to prop this so I don't have to hold the phone. Um, so you guys aren't going dizzy. Just wanted to update you guys on my stolen Bluetooth speaker. So, um, Friday night, I called the police, did the police report, all that good stuff. And um, I also emailed my management company. So the property that I live in, it's condos, condominium complex. And my um, management company owns about 74 of the units here. There's like over 200 units total. So they own about 74 of them. And I rent one of them. So I called them or excuse me, emailed them after the police left, did their police report, sent the email. They finally um, messaged me back or emailed me back today and followed up with a phone call. Just got off the phone with them. They were actually very nice because I didn't speak to the one girl that I usually speak to. Thank God, she's a nightmare. But um, spoke to her partner. And um, basically, the issue with the pipes um, was my HOA, so the management complex, like the people that work at the office. So I had to call them. So I hung up with my management company, called the office, spoke to the woman that works there. She's very sweet, like very nice, very mom-like. <laughs> and um, you know, she, she was like, oh my God, she's like, what happened? Like she had already knew what happened, had already known what happened, sorry, because I guess when I, filed the police report um it was assigned to a detective and they're actually working the freaking case y'all like talk about them being on top of it so evidently um the detective was already in contact with the office and actually went there in person and spoke to both the office manager here and the i'm not going to use names the guy that was in the video in my previous vlog doing the repairs okay um, which I feel bad about because he's a sweetheart. I really feel in my heart of hearts that like he had nothing to do with it. But what the woman at the office said to me as well as the detective was that when, so Thursday they had to come back and finish up the repairs. I guess that part that they had to order. So um, um, what happened was the guy from the last vlog who did the repairs Tuesday came to my apartment with an outside company, a plumbing company, right? Cause he's not really a plumber. He just handles plumbing issues. But when it comes like down to like the real repairs, like he has to bring in a third party plumber, like a certified plumbing company. So that's what ended up happening. And she, the woman from the office, let me know that I guess he was here when the third party company was here doing the repairs, but he stepped out for a few minutes and then came back. Okay, put two and two together um, because she even said it. He was like, you know, I left for a little bit and I came back, but I didn't think anything of it. Like we know this guy, but supposedly, you know, they've worked with this plumbing company for years and they trust him. But I guess the guy had his son with them on that particular day who they don't really know. So I'm only speculating that he's the one that stole my speaker. Um, so... So annoyed that my speaker is gone. <laughs> kind of happy that the detective is working on it. And I don't know like who this kid is or you know the son. I don't know how old we're talking. I don't know like situation. Y'all, I need to handle these grays. Something serious. Um, but I'm hoping that like the father, because it's the father's company, right? I'm hoping that the father puts some heat on his son. Like, I don't know, maybe his son is a degenerate and like he knows that his son has like a history of sticky fingers. Like maybe, maybe, who knows, right? So I'm hoping that that's the case and the father puts the heat on his son like you little mf -er, like you're stealing from my clients. Like this is my bread and butter. This is how I'm paying for like this house and the food in your stomach and whatever. Like you need to give back that shit because I planted... I planted the thought in the woman from the office's 
ear that um, my speaker is traceable. I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to track it, but the tracking's not going through as of right now. I don't know if he malfunctioned it or it's dead or whatever, but eventually when he charges it, I'll be able to trace it. Like I kind of put that in her head because you never know, right? You just never know. Like you can guess and speculate like who took it, like whatever. It's kind of like the game of Clue. <laughs> like You just don't know. Um, but I did plant that seed of doubt in her head. So, fingers crossed, you guys, that they find who took my freaking speaker and I get it back. Um, I'm overall happy as of right now because, one, I know the detective is working on it. And, two, they were actually very sweet. Like, apologetic. Like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Yeah, you know, yada, yada. I was expecting, you know, nastiness because the girl from my management company just... She says, I have a strong personality, but there's a difference between having a strong personality and just being a nasty bitch. <laughs> like, I have a strong personality. She's a nasty bitch. So, um, happy with that. I just, I just really hope I get my speaker back, you guys, because I love my music and I need my speaker. So, to be continued. Hi, good morning. Today is Wednesday. <clears throat> it's my niece Ariana's birthday. She's five today, super excited. Um, just wanted to pop in, say hello <laughs> in all my messy haired gloriousness. I just woke up probably like an hour ago and decided Jaden's not going to school today because they're going to Chuck E. Cheese, my sister and all the kids, and she wanted him to go. So I'm like, all right, he doesn't have any testing. So why not? Sorry, looking out my door to see if they're here yet because my sister is one of those people that waits till the last minute to do anything. She's like, can you watch the kids so I can go to the store and get another gift for Ari and clean out my car? I'm like, dude, do you do realize it is the day of your daughter's birthday? Like, why you wait till last minute is beyond me. But anyway, they'll be here in a minute. So I just wanted to hop on. I have work today, 12 to 4. And um, so, yeah, I've got a bunch of crap I have to do. But I wanted to hop on and tell you guys a really funny story. It's kind of funny and pathetic and sad at the same time. Um, so you guys know that like obsessed with like the fitness industry, right? I got certified as a personal trainer. Um, I've had my own coaching clients. I have just been, you know, really just in love with the gym for like the longest time. And you know, this is obviously a keto channel. So like, it's a big passion of mine. Pull up your pants, child. Um, so social media is a very, um, powerful tool, right? And you see all these companies, all these brands like all over social media and you see like these big influencers like backing these companies and it makes you wonder like ulterior motives like you guys got to understand like there are good true genuine people that partner up with brands do even sponsored videos all that kind of thing sponsored posts etc um, or even non-sponsored posts they just post just because of the simple fact that they believe in the products and the company and there you go but Point I'm trying to make here is that there's all these companies, right? Um, supplement companies, clothing companies, all of these things, and um, some of them have more like traction exposure than others, right? So I'm talking about like the big ones that you see all over the place. Like I um, have been following a bunch of people on social for a while, and a few of them, a lot of them actually, are partnered up with a company, um, First Form, right? huge in um on instagram they've been around for a long time they've got a crap ton of products um never really tried a lot of the products myself but like i hear good things but i mean you guys when it comes down to like fitness there's no magic pill that's going to make you skinny overnight like it always comes down to like all of the things that you're doing not just supplementation but also diet and exercise getting adequate sleep drinking enough h2o like all that stuff it all plays a factor right so um, I'm very business minded too. So me, I look at all these companies and you know, the reputable ones and the not reputable ones, you know, um, like all these tea companies and like happy coffee and like all this, like it's so gimmicky. But anyway, my opinion, don't attack me. So long story short, um, I follow all these people on social media and people that I trust, right? People that, um, I, I take their word seriously. The kids are here. I will come I will continue right, so we're back um look it's the birthday girl it's the birthday princess come here princess come sit with auntie auntie's telling a story say hi to my friends come here 
Come back. Oh, let me see. You want to say hi? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Tell them about your boo-boo. I got a boo-boo. Yeah, you hurt yourself? Yeah, Not I good. got blood. Okay. I got blood right here. Oh, my goodness. The blood all over the place, you guys. All right, let Auntie finish telling her story, okay? Go play with Jaden. <laughs> You're going to poke your eye out. That's not going to be good. Go play with Jaden. Okay, so, all right, so first form, right? So, watched a lot of people, you know, rave about their products and all this stuff. And people that, like, I trust, right? I trust their word. So, I looked into their um, program that they have for influencers. It's called Legionnaire. Um, it's like Legionnaire or something. Dami, stop jumping on the bed now. Sit down and you have your sneakers on, please. So, whatever. I filled out the application online. <clears throat> and then I had an interview with one of their, I guess, recruiters. Phone call. And it was just crazy. And I was like, you know what? Like, I kept tossing it around. It wasn't something that I was 100% like all in for. Like, I wasn't like sold on it. I just wanted to get more information. So, I get on this call last night, <clears throat> Tuesday night. And it's like a 20, 25 minute phone call. Like he's asking me all these questions, telling me how it works and lots of things like popped up. Like I'm like, no, no, leave the slug alone. We just killed the slug outside. I showed the kids that you pour salt on a slug and it dies. <laughs> we'll check on it in 10 minutes. Okay. Or you cut it in half. No, we're not going to cut it in half. That's barbaric. Can you go in the room with Jaden? Cause my auntie's doing a video. Are you making it? Are you making it be in love? I love I got a boo-boo. Okay, go. All right, go. Go with Jaden. Go watch him play. All right, go ahead. So I get on this call with this guy, and he's doing the little interview process. And I just think it's funny. Like, you're interviewing me. Like, what? Like, it's basically a direct sales, like, Dominic, don't hit your brother. He hit me. No, I'm watching. I know you didn't, Aiden. Sorry, Auntie Life. Dominic, do you want to go in timeout? I'm going to tell mommy, and you're not going to go. So I get on the phone with this guy, and he's like asking me, like, okay. He's like, what do you think makes you a good fit for, for first form? And I'm just like, okay. In my head, I'm like, what makes you a good fit for me or anybody for that matter? But regardless, he's telling me how it works telling me the commission and I don't know if I'm allowed to like legally say but what I'm gonna say is like it's pennies and it's BS okay before the interview even like started he sent me this video that he wanted me to watch from like the CEO like talking about basically like what's expected and he's talking about how it's not MLM because <clears throat> it's not like multi levels like it's not you know team building and recruiting and all that stuff it's basically like you get your own custom website you share it with your following. You can do it passively and um, aggressively, basically, like actually going out and prospecting, or just simply by posting your link on your social and people will order as they please. And they claim that once you get a customer, you get a customer for life. Um, you guys, not for nothing, like I can't speak to the quality. Okay, I can't speak to the quality of, of the products um, further than what I've seen other people say. And I've looked at ingredients and it looks like good stuff, you know, um, for the most part, most part. They have a lot of different products, some of which I don't like. Um, I looked at the ingredients and there was like a shit ton of sugar. And you guys know that I'm keto, so like sugar is the devil. Um, and like corn syrup solids and like all this crap. So like there's a lot of it that I don't like. But like the fat burner looks good and like the green supplement looks good, okay? Now, so I have a problem with like the product quality as a whole right um but i mean that's normal you guys like i'm gonna go to walmart and not want to buy everything calm down maniac um you're not gonna fall in love with absolutely every product that you see at a store so like you're not expected to buy everything but there's a couple things i really did not like about his presentation and all the things that he was telling me one the commission percentage like i'm sorry like you're talking less than 30 yeah, percent no thank you um also saying that we have a customer for life once we get a customer that's still not true like unless you're stealing credit card information you're forced buying 
every customer that signs up with you. Like, that's so not true. So, like, that was a little, eh, no, I'm not stupid. I wasn't born yesterday. And lastly, this is the thing, you guys. Pick one. Gumball? Dominic? I don't like it. Teen Titans? No, I want Gumball. He'll yell when he sees something that he likes. So the last thing that I did not like was, oh, and this is what I was going to say. Like, yeah, it's common sense that like to sell something, you guys, like you have to use the products yourself. Like it would not be this one. Oh, he's yelling at me, and I don't like it. My nephew is a savage. No, you're passing it. Which one? You're passing it again. Tell me. Yeah. Ben 10? Yeah. All right, maniac. So, sorry. So, he tells me, oh, so, like, yeah, like, you have to use products to market them to people yeah. like i'm not going to tell people oh my god this fat burner is amazing oh my god these greens are amazing if i've never used it myself and seen my own results right makes sense like my social media presence is important to me and like not for nothing like i've always like strived to be transparent with you guys and real like i want you guys to know that you can trust me and to know that if i recommend something like it's worth checking out right so sit down on the couch properly please so um then he tells me, okay, so this that was a prelude into this. So he tells me every Legionnaire, okay, that's what we're called, Legionnaire, is expected to at minimum use the vitamin packs and the Opti Greens every single month, which comes out to about, I think like 120 to 140 bucks, okay, not including shipping, okay? I totally get having to have experience with the products and using them, right? But when somebody tells you, you have to buy this and that every single month, are you good with that? That's a red flag. Like, it's a given, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a like a common sense thing, guys. Like, it's a given that like, for me to like market a product, I have to use them. But what I don't like, bless you, is being told specifically, you have to buy this product and this product every single month or you can't be a legionnaire. Are you good with that? No, okay? Second thing that I did not like <clears throat> was that to get started, so I was accepted, like he offered me a spot on the team, okay? <laughs> and he proceeds to tell me, okay, so this is gonna be your, um, your trainer, this lady Paula, whatever, um, and here's a link. You have to follow this link and you have to purchase one of three packs. Because, okay, I want you to try at least seven products to start. Okay, again, guys, like I get it. Like you have to use products to market them. Makes sense. But like you're telling me that I have to every single month, no matter what, purchase these specific two products and use them consistently because they're their most popular products. And B, to start, you have to buy one of three packs, which you guys, they were not cheap. I'm talking a $300 pack, a $400 pack, and a $500 pack. What? Excuse me, okay? So at that point, I was already like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, <laughs> I was already like no on the commission, no on being told what products I have to use. Dami, get down. And like nail in the coffin when I have to spend a minimum of three, four or five hundred dollars right off the bat, and then I'm required to spend another hundred and twenty to hundred and forty dollars every single month. And the commissions that I'm gonna make on each said sale that I make through you guys, my following, is only gonna be less than twenty-five percent. No, we're good, Felicia. <laughs> we're good. Um, and like I like I said, guys. It was something that I was contemplating, I was curious about, so I quenched my curiosity um, because it just goes to show, like, there's a lot of companies out there that, like, other people are gonna tell you, oh, you know, this is great, this is amazing, what, what, what. But do your research. Like, be your own voice. Don't go by what other people tell you. 
like follow your gut instinct like you're not stupid like get the facts and go from there so needless to say first form no thank you um i think it's wrong to force people to spend x amount of dollars and this is the thing you guys i've been in network marketing for almost four years okay i've been with a couple of different companies I'm very happy with the company that I'm with now, right? I fully stand behind the products because it's not just supplements. They've got a plethora of different things for the house. Like it's great stuff. Um, <clears throat> Dami, calm down. But like when a company like that tells you, and, and, and that was another red flag, that was like number one, like the first red flag. This is not MLM, it's not like MLM. And bashing MLM, like first of all, you may think what you want about MLM, it's not for everybody, right? conflicting um, perspectives. Some people think it's scammy. Some people know that it's not like to each his own. I'm not going to give my opinion on it. Um, other than that, I love network marketing. MLM, it is what it is. I'm not with an MLM company. I'm with a CDM. It's a little different. People will argue with me with, uh, about that. It's fine. Um, but do your research, follow your passions, your heart, and don't feel swayed to do things just simply because people that you look up to are doing the same thing, right? Don't do that. I know. Um, what else did I want to say about that? That's it. I mean, what I will say good about the company is that, you know, they're very like family oriented. Like they've got like a really strong um, base of people that, you know, have a common interest, have common passion. Yeah, all of that stuff. Say hi. <laughs> My little mini. Um, so I like that, the camaraderie and all of that. But like, no, like uh, all those other red flags that I already told you guys about, like I'm not with it. Like I'm not here for it. I had to hop back in because I totally skimmed over my point. <laughs> the problem with these companies, okay? Now, there's a very fine line between the concept and the fact that if you're gonna market products, especially through ways of social media marketing, you have to be a product of the products and use the products because you need people to trust you, right? You have to be transparent and real with people. So you can't sell something that you're not using. But if there's one thing that I can offer as far as advice and insight, just being in network marketing for four years, you guys, is that when a company is requiring you to spend X amount of dollars um, every single month, that's a red flag, okay? Second thing is the startup should not be astronomical. I mean, three, four, five hundred dollars just to become a sales rep to potentially make income is not okay, okay? So those red flags, you guys, steer clear of anything that you see like that. Um, because when you look at a, co a company like that, you ha it makes you wonder, the CEO basically became a millionaire like overnight. Like he's good. Like he's making multi millions every year. Okay. So it makes you think like the percentage of the income, the revenue that's coming in from all these product sales, what percentage is actually from their so-called legionnaires versus true customers? It makes you think. 